Hi, this is just a short video to talk through the issue of expenses during the latest COVID lockdown. There might be very many managers out there who work for a company that don't generally allow home working, and so this is all a new area for them. And the question that we're seeking to answer here is, can you claim back VAT on staff expenses when they're working from home? Now, there are really three answers to this question, two easy ones and one slightly complex one. The first easy answer is that if it's for business use only, absolutely you can claim back the VAT. So let's imagine we've got uh, an employee and they're going to change their box room into an office. Maybe they want to get in a monitor or a keyboard, that sort of thing. Absolutely, you can claim back the VAT as long as that's an asset for the business. The second easy answer is if it's for personal use. So let's uh, look at our imaginary company and they decide to be really generous and buy everybody a TV so they can be entertained during the lockdown. Well, that's clearly personal use and no, you can't claim back the VAT. The slightly complex answer is where you've got a mixed supply. So something that's going to be used for both business and personal. And that's distinctly possible in the home working environment. Now, what HMRC say is that you can claim back the VAT on purely the business element as long as you can identify it. The example I always like to use is that of the landline phone. If you're making calls for your business, then you'll be able to itemise those out quite clearly and it will show on your bill how much they cost. And that's very easy to do and you can claim back the VAT. But what HMRC say quite clearly is you can't claim back the VAT on the line rental element because you would have been paying that anyway. It's part of your personal expenses. Now, a lot of companies will want to keep in contact with their employees during the lockdown and many employees will be fielding calls from customers. So the company might decide to authorise a mobile purchase for the, for the employee. Now, the company can claim back the VAT on the mobile because it's for business use. And they can claim back the call element of the VAT for all of the calls as long as they comply with two rules. The first rule is that they've got to say to the employees that it's not allowed to make personal calls. And secondly, they've got to enforce it. So really, HMRC are looking at here, is this reasonable? Or is there reasonable use? And if you provide a mobile phone for an employee and they're just using it for personal calls all the time, well, that really isn't allowed. But what HMRC say is that it's, it's distinctly possible, occasionally someone might accidentally make a call on a mobile phone or there may be some sort of emergency. If it's very minimal use, then HMRC say that's absolutely fine. The company can claim back the VAT on the whole amount. Now, in terms of other office supplies, paper, pens, that sort of thing, again, if it's for business use, absolutely you can claim back the VAT as long as it was charged in the first place. What I should say is that we do need to remain pragmatic at this time. And if you're using a manual system to carry out uh, your expenses payments, and maybe you've got a rule that you've got to see receipts and invoices before you make a payment, we may need to relax things like that because it's not sensible to ask employees to go to the post box and start sending in their returns. And obviously, people are going to want cash at this, at this time. So we do need to remain fairly pragmatic around it, but with the, the thought in the back of our mind that we'll need to do the book work and the reporting later on. I should also say there's been a fair amount of noise in the media about this VAT suspension. Now, that's not a suspension as to recording your VAT or complying with the rules. It's just a suspension around payment of the VAT. So you must carry on recording and reporting as normal. So two things to say. Uh, the first thing to say is that we do need to keep an eye on what's going on outside. So the rules are changing all the time. Things are being relaxed. Do keep an eye on your VAT notices. Keep an eye on the HMRC website and the professional press just to see if any rules change. And the second thing to say is that this is really only general information. Uh, if you need specific advice about your situation, then please do talk to your VAT advisor or get in touch with HMRC and call their VAT helpline. Thank you for listening. I hope this has been of use for you and please do safe, stay safe during the lockdown.